I'm here with Katrina Balp and Sam Hewen from one of my favorite shows on television, Stars Outlander. You guys, welcome to the show. Thank you for Thank having you us. For having so us. clearly, 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 I'm one of your biggest fans. But you had a few hundred of them upstairs waiting to get autographs and take pictures with you. There at were screening. thousands, thousands, <laughs> thousands. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a huge audience. It was a very, a very hot audience. <laughs> it was. There was a lot of people. It was very hot, but it's great. There, you know, the fans are always so passionate. So that's what, always a good thing. I I think passionate is the understatement of the year. They are rabid, and they've been desperate for the return of this show. They've been waiting. They're talking about it on social media. It's been dubbed the Drought Lander. Now mm. that the, the Drought, drought Lander, Lander officially ends this weekend, it does. what can we expect from season three? I mean, so much. <laughs> it's, there's a lot that happens. Um, you know, we pick up um, with Jamie and the aftermath of Culloden. Um, with Claire's story, we sort of pick up at the end of episode one, season two, um, where she's in Boston, she's pregnant, and she's with Frank, which is not really what people want to see sometimes. No, we don't but... want to see that. <laughs> we pretty much pick up where we left off, I think, it, with Jamie's story, and um, uh, and we get to see these two people living their lives apart, you know, that, that they believe that the other person is is dead, and, and sort of finding, trying to get through their lives and, and live through their lives with, with some sort of purpose, but but uh, without the person that they love. For yeah. people who have, are familiar with the books, and there are a lot of people who are, more than 25 million copies of the Outlander series have been sold around the world, mm -hmm. and people who are familiar with the book know that the two do eventually reunite this season, correct? We hope so, yeah. otherwise we Apparently, might apparently yeah. they do, yes. And they possibly reunite in a print shop, I was right? thinking of like a romantic place. I'm not sure I would just <laughs> shop. Well, this is the beauty of Diana Gabaldon's mind. Yes. It's like she just flips the script on everything. You think it's yeah. going to go one way, and she just gives you the most insane yeah. Yeah. but brilliant yeah. scenario. So yeah. She also gives you a lot of sex. <laughs> this she is does this, do that, yes. This yes. is one of the steamiest shows mm. on television. I have to ask you, how do you keep it kosher, if you will? There's usually a lot of people in rooms. I mean, sex scenes when you film them are never what people think they are, I that's think. What you know, everyone it's, says, yeah. but, but it's that's true. No fun. Really? No. Unless you're into that, you know, and you well, like to have an audience, wow. which, you know, I'm not saying that some people aren't, but. <laughs> yeah, maybe there are people <laughs> I mean, out there. That I don't know. <laughs> so, maybe we what's stop easier to shoot, that? actually, a sex scene or a fight scene? Oh, fight scene. Yeah. Yeah. And There's preferably so a fun. fight between us. That yes. Would be fun. I mean, I, I, I tend to walk away from those fight scenes injured a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think we had one this season where <laughs> I were in the middle of a fight and I slightly push Sam and he <laughs> pushes me back. But, you know, where mine was like a little push, he just sends me flying. So I land on the other side of the room on my but which which hurt? That's what you but get. Sam, that <laughs> this is the 1700s. <laughs> <laughs> that pales in comparison to all the things that Jamie has been through, though. I mean, your character has been shot, stabbed, almost flogged to death twice. Almost hung. Almost hung. Yeah. Does that ever take its toll, though, having to play a character that experiences that much pain? I mean, you know, this season, I think, is a different story. You know, losing Claire is something completely different. But I think physical pain, I think he can deal with... Um, but yeah, certainly the, the loss of Claire is his life and, and that uh, completely destroys him as a person and then he has to find a way to, to live his life without her and he, 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 he can't really. Claire seems like a dream role for any actress. I mean, she's tough, she's fierce, but she's also able to be vulnerable. She can save and she can be saved, which is why I love her. Is it just a joy to play her? I, just getting to play someone who's as complex as her. I mean, she's not perfect. You know, she can be stubborn. She can get herself in a lot of um, difficult situations, but she loves fiercely. She fights fiercely. Mm. She has boundless empathy. Um, she fights for justice. And all of those things are just so attractive to be able to play. Um, it's just, it, it's been such a great opportunity, I think, for both of us. I mean, I think we've been on this wild ride that has just, yeah. I don't know, it's given us so much. It's hard to believe that this was actually one of your first major TV roles. My I mean, only TV. I'd never done TV before. I mean, I'd done like some indie films and some small roles in films, but this was the first. TV thing I'd ever done. 
I mean, what a beginning. I know, they were crazy. What were they thinking? <laughs> they were like, yes, let's, um, let's rest a show on her shoulders. <laughs> Completely unproven. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I have to ask you about the other beauty on set. That red hair. <laughs> Does it have its own contract? Oh, yeah, this goes on trailer. Own, own yeah. manager. Own trailer. Own trailer. Own trailer. Agent is a pain in the nightmare. <laughs> yeah. It's a nightmare. I mean, it's this. I mean, the time. writer for that wig yeah. alone is just like. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do. I do. Uh, obviously, wear this uh, a, a red ginger wig, mm -hmm. and um, it's uh, you know it's a part of the character. It's very much his his persona. You know, the, the red hair and the sort of fiery nature of that. You know, historically, the show had been compared to Game of Thrones. I think we now know that they're two distinctly different shows. But if you had to have a one... A dragon. Yeah. <laughs> if we could have a dragon, I'd love a dragon. You'd love a dragon. Yeah, I could ride it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can I wear mean, a blonde I wig. I don't need a blonde wig. I'm blonde. You are blonde. <laughs> and I could just wear, wear the dragon. <laughs> I'd just have a sword and work at the wall mm -hmm. while you're flying around on the dragon. <laughs> I love this spin-off. I think this, this could amazing. work. I could see. Yeah. So this season is why five. No I mean, that's a writer's job. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Outlander airs Sundays at 8 on Stars.